How's it going, everyone? My name's Evan, and I'm an Irish Viking. Today, I am just going to be showing you guys a little something that I made in my spare time over at my grandparents' house. Hope you enjoy. So, this is my grandparents' house remodeled. So, a light blue, it's a dark green. The window shades are back. Even like smaller ones over here, just because it's a smaller window. Back deck is like, like the back deck isn't here, but it's just like, imagine if the house was just like lowered down just a little smidge. But also, like, of course, under view of the house, which all those represent something of that that I made during the house. And then, let's finally get right into the inside of the house. Come on. There we go. So, this is the inside of the house overall. Nice 3D model. The whole entire place. It looks a lot better whenever it's just on the computer itself. So, I do not have the actual recording instruments. But... So basically, that's like a uh, general overview. Now I'm going to go into detail. Okay, so here is the living room. Like with a new, like they have a new closet that is right next to their front door, as you can see right here. That is clear shelf and also like a little hanging rack right there a computer desk which which we already have a tv stand with a vhs cd a uh, dvd player right there dvds a couple of pictures and a game board up here and then we have a couple sofas wrong tool thank you They're just different models, or just like all covered up in one single gigantic sheet that is custom fit to it. With, um, like these couches have recliners only on the ends, like on the ends for this one, only for, of course, these two seats right here. They have recliners. A gigantic freezer right here. Good carpet. And also, my grandparents have, like, already have a wooden stove. Here's all the wood right here. I'm trying to make it look like it as much as wood as possible. And then, if you get really, really close to the stove and everything, try not to go through the floor. See those pipes right there? Those pipes are actually for burning the smoke and just having um, more like just less and less and less of of actually having like smoke coming out of this chimney which is like I mean all the way up here if this roof was all the way on just like how it was at the beginning of the video but alright so that just burns up all the smoke creates extra heat has absolutely no smoke whenever it gets outside so that's actually a really really good stove like and also like a brick floor and a brick wall in order to protect it from all the heat. This is like all wood right here. Anyways. Now here is my grandparents' kitchen. My grandma wanted a new table, so I got her a new table as you can see through the window right there. Best I can make it to my ability of this program. A new stainless steel fridge and freezer. Fridge, freezer. Oh, the same, like, of um, the exact same model type as hers right now. Like, the model type that she has right now is all white, but this one is a stainless steel version. So, a bit of an upgrade to this. So, basically, everything in the entire... So, basically, everything in this entire kitchen area where it's all tile is completely different. Anyways, 
We got some nice cabinets as you can see over here. The dark tinted glass doors. A little skinnier one over here. Skinnier one, like uh, a little wider one over here, just depending on how much room I had. A little counter right next to the stove. Kind of reminds me of my house, except for we don't have this. My grandma has all of her drawers back right down here, as you can see. A new dishwasher. Drawers. I don't know, like everything is all made out of granite. The doors are granite for the drawers and doors for like the countertops and the sinks and everything like that. Stainless steel um, dishwasher. I forgot to say about that. Like heated dry on, different modes. Like have your wash, normal wash, right next to each other, off, rinse. Water saver. I'm just trying to remember every single one of them that I, that goes to the model. And then a brand new sink with um, hot and cold faucet handles, which I try to do the best as I can to my ability as well. Get them all to the exact same angle. And then the beginning of this is just all um, like a stainless steel pipe going up. And this is all glass right here. Going right down into the sink. And um, the reason why it looks like this with this little area right here is because I couldn't get any uh, special curvature of the sink, like of, of the head of the faucet, kind of like how I did here in that little area. Nice stainless steel sink, drain, of course. And then over to the other side. I have another countertop right here, a new gas burning stove with a nice oven, all stainless steel with a grill in the middle, digital dial right here, and then like a small little digital dial depend telling you what time it is, set timers, and a um, and basically I just 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 those two. This is the front and back. This is the front and back burner. Like the biggest burner, of course, is in the far corner of the right. Oh, I forgot that was there. This is like what mode you want your oven to be on. This is what temperature you want your oven to be on. And then up to the microwave. My grandma hasn't like my grandma had a microwave, except for it was like all timed and everything, but it stopped working. The timer stopped working. So basically she wanted to get a new microwave, so she wanted to get a microwave that goes with her stove top. Stop like the green is go, red is stop, the number dial right here, like a four by three, the digital dial right here, that took quite a while to do. A knife rack right here, which is just like the magnets. And I hope you did not hear that. Because that was actually pretty pretty loud, and that was. Can you please stop? As you can hear, it's my grandpa Ron. He lives in Kansas. And there we go. I'm gonna call him back later after this video. So, um, like the knife rack is like. Magnets right here, two layers, a block of wood, and that's about it. Attached to the wall. Nice backsplash for the stovetop area. Also, I wonder if you guys possibly just saw the uh, backsplash of where the kitchen is. Like the nice little smaller uh, backsplash design. And also the lip of the table right here. And then that, that's about it for the kitchen. By the way, this whole entire kitchen and then also this area right here took me about uh, 10 hours to do on my entire day. I was so addicted in order to do this. So I just wanted to keep, keep on going. And here's my grandma's new pantry door. Just a new pantry door. The shelves are just repainted. Everything else is repainted pretty dark inside. And the door is dark, tinted, gray glass. 
And then also the um, my grandma has a new Samsung washer and dryer all together with like, you know, how Samsung has like the glass tops and bottoms and everything like that. Pretty fancy. This would be like um, permanent press, regular air fluff right down here for this style. This will be how much water you want to put into the um, washer. This is the gauge that like what mode like what mode you want this to be on and then for this one you just like what temperature of heat you want to be on also they'll have the uh, clock set both of them in sync at the same time like and also my grandma does not have any shelves right here right now but she'll eventually have shelves and instead of cabinets she has also some extra shelves that she can use now uh, run right on top of the washer and dryer. Pretty easy to do. <clears throat> Alright, next is the kitchen. Which took me a good eight hours in order to do. I mean not not the kitchen, the bathroom. <sighs> I rush myself sometimes. And as I and um like there's a new medicine cabinet door which is darked into glass and everything is practically the same whenever it comes to the inside and the glass and everything for the cabinets instead of like a, a three story plastic box that holds everything she wanted extra shelves right here in order to hold everything all the drawers are back like there's double drawers right here double drawers right here and a door 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 as you can see nice stainless steel sink different model of a faucet I try to make them look as neat, uh, as good to a faucet as, po as I possibly can. Of course, my ability. Nice, not nice, nice tile floor, which goes really well with my grandparents' style. And then, like, the toilet. Nice granite, clear glass on the top. Toilet paper dispenser, of course, and then a towel rack. And then glass sliding doors for the shower. And the shower head is... Let me try to get a better angle. As you can see on the floor right there, it's like a hexagon texture. And also it's kind of give also give my grandparents extra grip. And it's also just like a walk-in with a little ledge. Nice tile right here. I literally, I literally use every single bit of tile that is in the game. Now this is 100% a shower, so there will not be any faucet run between the hot and cold um, faucet, like the hot and cold handles right here. And then like for the shower head, there we go. It's just like like a little point going around. There's some little, like all going around to one point nice and evenly. All stainless steel as well, brand new, which is actually really awesome. Nice new oval mirror that my that my grandma really really likes ovals. Hallway, I don't know where we have this is the furnace door. Except for like in case this um wood burning stove goes out, then we use that. Now I like I haven't gotten done with the bedrooms yet, but that's gonna be for another video. And um I sliding glass doors for my bedroom, and uh, that's about it for this tour. So, thank you everyone for watching. If you liked it, please drop a like and subscribe, and hope you did enjoy. This is Evan signing out. Bye, guys.